Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you all for joining the Moonshot International Symposium. I'm Kobayashi Yoshimitsu, and an executive member of SISTI, the Council for Science, Technology, and Innovation. In my presentation, I would like to give you an outline of the Moonshot R&D program and the purpose of this symposium. F firstly, please let me introduce SISTI, the Council for Science, Technology, and Innovation. SISTI is one of the policy council on key policy field of the cabinet office. It is chaired by Prime Minister Abe and consists of six cabinet members and eight executive members. It serves as a headquarter for the promotion of science, technology, and innovation at a level above individual ministries and agencies. It overlooks and coordinates a nation's science policy and formulates a five-year basic plan for science and technology. In the fifth science and technology basic plan formulated in 2016, the government of Japan aimed to transform Japan into one of the most innovative countries in the world. To achieve this, SISTI is supposed to promote creation of knowledge by empowering three different aspects. First is basic research. It creates diverse and outstanding knowledge, which will be the source of innovation. By promoting basic research, we can also encourage young scientists to pursue their international motives, such as personal curiosity and sense of mission. Second is the strategic research. It aims to solve important societal issues and promote private investment for R&D. SISTI conduct two programs. One is SIP, Cross Ministerial Strategic Innovation Promotion Program, and the other is PRISM, Public Private R&D Investment Strategic Expansion Program. Last is Moonshot type research for the creation of disruptive innovation. The Moonshot R&D program is about to begin, and this is the theme of this symposium. Let me explain more about the Moonshot R&D program. The motivation behind establishing this program is a sense of urgency to dissolve serious societal problems such as global warming, declining birth rate, and aging population. So far, a lot of basic research created wonderful results in Japan. However, most of these results were neither quickly applied in society, nor managed to solve the formidable problems we are facing. In contrast, R&D activities conducted in the United States, Europe, and China are oriented toward leading to disruptive innovation. They attract top researchers from all over the world and accelerate challenging R&D. Learning from these advanced projects in other countries, SISTI decided to start the Moonshot R&D program with ambitious goals and new management style. The program aimed to create disruptive innovations by challenging R&D based on revolutionary concept it is expected to develop radical solutions for difficult societal challenges. We have three key points for this program. First point is creation of innovation through global collaboration. SISTI will set ambitious goals for international societal issues and we collaborate with other countries to achieve those goals together. Second point is achievement of a virtuous cycle to attract further investment in basic research. We will promote innovative R&D that maximizes 
basic research capabilities, not being afraid of failure. Third point is the establishment of speedy and progressive research management. We will develop the most advanced research support system and implement reliable open and closed strategies. This slide shows how to proceed toward achieving moonshot goals. In this program, we will adopt a portfolio approach. For each moonshot goal, the program director, PD in short, will combine multiple projects which take different approaches. These projects has different probability of success and different market scale if successful. PDs will review their portfolio and make appropriate adjustment to achieve MS goals. For example, they will accelerate, decelerate projects or integrate multiple projects according to the progress of each. We will encourage spin out and spin off obtained from the programs in order to advance social implementation. In addition, the Moonshot R&D program will collaborate with other related R&D and measures. The collaboration will include joint effort with other countries, private investments, and related ministries and agencies. This is the roadmap for starting this program. From March to July this year, we held the Visionary Council meetings to discuss future visions and missions. After that, we conducted expert interviews and further research to review the proposal from the Visionary Council. Based on the result of the review, we prepare scientific reports for the discussion in the International Symposium. And today, we are in the symposium together with them from the world, reflecting on outcomes of the symposium, SISTI will discuss and confirm moonshot goals at the next SISTI meeting expected in January or Febru uh, oh, sorry, February 2020. Then related funding agencies such as JST and NEDO will make calls for the proposals. The slide shows details about the Visionary Council. The Visionary Council was established to discuss ambitious moonshot goals. It is consisted of seven experts from various fields. This list showed the Visionary Council members. I'm one of the members and also the chairperson of the Council. The Visionary Council has been held four times. In the meetings, Visionary Council received opinions from academia and the industries and about 1,800 proposals from the general public. Through vigorous discussions, Visionary Council identified further visions based on global issues and translated further visions into visions as a mission, as example of moonshot goals. We also proposed three elements of moonshot goals, inspiring, imaginative, and incredible, not incredible, credible. <laughs> Inspiring means clarity of moonshot objectives and its necessity, strong impact on our future society and the industries. Interact, interact brought together from all over the world. Imaginative means innovative and radical change of a future societal system clear image of our future direction. Credible means not only ambitious, but also scientifically feasible. Validity of progress toward moonshot goals. Consistency with different strategic strategy and policies. Now, uh, based on these elements, the council recommended three target areas of aging society, global environment, and exploring frontiers, and certain vision. The Council also proposed 25 examples of moonshot goals. 
These will be discussed in detail at plenary session second this afternoon. Now I would like to explain today's symposium. This symposium is held in order to convene the knowledge and ideas of top class researchers, entrepreneurs, and government officials from all over the world. And CISTI will best use of them to decide ambitious and scientifically feasible moonshot goals and to create disruptive innovations. In the morning session, we will have prominent guest speakers for keynotes and special sessions. Representatives of the science community and industry will talk about their experiences on innovation, innovative research, and expectation for the Moonshot R&D program. In the afternoon, we will have two plenary sessions. In plenary one, we will discuss innovative management of Moonshot research. In plenary two, we will discuss areas and visions for setting out Moonshot goals proposed by the Visionary Council. Tomorrow, we will have thematic discussions in seven working groups. Working group one to two uh, to six are expected to make proposals on moonshot goal candidates and scenarios. Working group one will discuss moonshot for expanding human potential. Working group two will discuss moonshot for realizing human life that continues to improve both physically and psychologically. Working group three will discuss moonshot for expanding frontiers through co-evolution of AI and robots. Working group four will discuss moonshot for sustainable resources, circulation for global environment. Working group five will discuss moonshot for future agriculture. Working group six will discuss moonshot for creating non-traditional sciences and technologies based on quantum and related phenomena. Working group seven is a cross-sectional session. We will discuss LC, so-called ethical, legal, and social implications, and also mathematical science. I look forward to fruitful discussions in the coming programs and sessions in this symposium for the human well-being. Thank you for your attention.